to another ride along with goggles <clears throat> and um here's a skin we haven't had available for a long time uh it's the alberta heavy haul for the flx 359 and i've just updated it for the new truck um the new version with the shaking hood and oh something to do with the cab suspension on the uh, sleeper we'll check it all out when we're driving see how it works uh, it's the first video I've done with this update. So if you remember the W900 from SCS has that shake in the hood and I believe they've that's what they've got going on here. So let's check it out and uh, we'll talk a little bit about more uh, more about it and all the various skins that were broken <laughs> as a result of this update and what they've done about it. So let's uh, keep going here because we've got uh, 343 miles to go. We're in Truckee, California, and we're going to uh, Reading. So speed limit's a little slow here, so we got to get on with it. Probably going to take my 10%. Seven in the morning, game time. But oh yeah, we don't have the uh, roof camera yet. Didn't see much shake in the hood there. Four hundred meters. I'll get it over here on the rough stuff here to see if anything happens. Oh, it's not even I've got a texture. <laughs> So this is quite a bit different trucky than we get in uh, meters. Turn right. in SCS because this has uh, got reformer in here. Turn right. So I think I've uh, kept lost count. So uh, Wednesday morning, this Wednesday morning. Uh, well, it's lunchtime now. <laughs> Missing my lunch. I'll get it later. Uh, this Wednesday morning, I've updated six skins at least, I think. Um, maybe left. more. Kind of lost left. track to work with this new configuration of the truck. So we have both the short hood and the EX EXHD versions. Run around there a little quick. Got the FOV mod in here, so field of view mod the mirror so it makes that a little the vehicles look closer oh. sorry about not giving you space there Ossifer got the wheel cam yeah we still got a wheel cam I got a 3406B in here. That's what I got, I think. Or did I put an E? I... Oh god, it's an E. You can tell by the turbo. Oh, 
I'm gonna let the throttle off here, the turbo wind down. I got the turbo sound down as I usually do with this truck. Engine, sorry. Boy, it's just busy road. Holy. We're going to uh, jump into that middle lane if we get a chance. There we go. Oops. Gonna crash if we get a chance. So, yeah, I did. Um, I think I updated. Uh, I still gotta do some repairs on the Montana Express skin. Uh, but I got it, Flatbed Brothers, Old School, um, Legendary Lubricants. Oh, there's more. Uh, it's quite a handful. And probably gonna, I don't know if I'll get it done today, this Alberta Heavy All Skin, in time for the video. We'll see what time allows. But it's a lot of uh, uploads I <laughs> have to make to uh, Mod Studio 2 to the Steam Workshop today after lunch. I'll start on that and that's going to take a little while. get done. Oh, the legendary, oh sorry, the uh, Winslow stripe. Uh, that's the paintable, changeable stripe. That one I did as well. Uh, cash money. So maybe it's seven. I don't know. It's a lot. There's probably another one I'm forgetting in there. Oh, that truck's got to get over here. say I've got to respect the fellow truckers. Game sure looks good though. Oh boy, that semi should move over the other lane. He's got no reason to be in this one. There he goes. There's trouble. Ooh, is that going to be an accident back there? Oh, another guy in the fast lane here. He's getting steamrolled by all the guys in the slow lane, so now we got to get over there. Oh, and there's another one up ahead. Darn. What will we do? You see the uh, yellow path on the map? We turned off there in a different video and went across. Maybe it was coming in the other direction though it looks like. Oh, shoot, could have went the other way across. That's uh, kind of an interesting route. Let me have a quick look here. So that's this bit here. Yeah, uh, why would we have wanted to go? No, we wouldn't have wanted to go there. We're trying to get to Reading. <laughs> that wouldn't have worked. 
That would be fun to take it in the opposite direction sometime, though, and just have a look, because things always look different when you're going the other way. Well, for a semi, that dude in front of us is speeding. Uh, it's 55 for trucks in California. No, I shouldn't have said anything to him. He's starting to slow down. <laughs> he was speeding, but well, still, he's going five over, which is comfortable. It should be nice to get the pivot cam back, that roof cam view. Uh, oh, I need to get that blocked off for her. That's a pretty nice, pretty nice job they did of this. through here. Well, those two trucks are sort of annoying. We're building up a, a lot of traffic here. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? 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 Oh my god. What if we can get going in time get around them. That was kind of uh, weird. Then again, it is the AI. And now he's up and running. Shoot! You lose all your momentum and you can't get it back. And they've got uh, some kind of incredible warp speed thing where they can mess you up and then accelerate away from the scene of the crime. Hey there, Barney. I think he gave that little twitch like he was going to change lanes. Well, release the hounds. Oh, shoot, we got to turn off up here. Keep down right. it. And then turn right. Down out of the hills. A Sacramento will be over there. That's, yeah, the big building over there. Turn right. So, we'll be coming out of the uh, Reforma map here right away. Probably. Keep right. This will be SCS map now. to go. Well, I keep wanting to go to a roof view really badly, but we have this one, which is not quite the same. Yeah, it's not very good. Great day. Sun's trying to break through. Okay, pay attention here. Yes, I've also got a um, stiletto skin for this truck in the works. Might just be for the, uh, I might just make it for the uh, one cab, the uh, EXHD uh, 63 inch sleeper. 
way these guys all went. Monkey see, monkey do. Alright, both of you, get back over there. This is a thing, it happens in convoy all the time, you'll... Oh, okay, that's just, there they go. You, uh... This, the AI gets kind of messed up in convoy. Lately we've been running the traffic, everybody puts their traffic at point two with the dev console. And so the group of vehicles assigned to your little, to you, is reduced. They don't trip over each other so bad. But boy, they'll change lanes right on top of you because they could be traffic that's assigned to a different truck, somebody else in the convoy. And they don't necessarily always pay attention to what's going on with the other drivers, it seems. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I see the hood jiggled a little bit there on a few of those bumps. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's a bummer. You'll get up to the guy and then boom, he'll turn into you. I should have got a photo while I was off in Scenicville. Well, I might have been looking out there. Better take a photo. Managed to uh, cheer it up in the photo. <laughs> Made it a little brighter out. That guy's doing something. He's thinking about something. He hit the brakes. Ooh. No, don't do it. Stay there. Shall we? Yeah, I was hoping to do a trip today uh, in the BTC, our Hell Creek Virtual Trucking Company. But uh, it ain't going to be. We're going to be messing with uh, uploading skins all afternoon. I think what I'll do this skin, I'll try and finish it up uh, later on Thursday and just concentrate on getting all of the ones that, uh, you know, and if I can get to it on Wednesday afternoon, of course I will, but I don't know what the chances are. It's Heck, I'm already late for lunch. <laughs> to see what I can get done in the uh, afternoon. Like most of the skins are ready to go. Like I say, I got one or two, maybe more, that need some tune ups. Because I noticed uh, the Montana Express skin, the paint job didn't go fully to the front to meet up with the uh, girl shroud. And so that was a bit of a surprised when I saw that in game so that has to be fixed and I can't remember what else there is but I took a bunch of photos with my phone of screenshots of the various problems so I should have a handle on what I gotta fix keep right and then exit right Well, that's your son. Yeah, it's a 3460 right. for sure. Keep left, and then turn left. Turn left. Turn left. 
turn left. Oh, two turning lanes. Shoot. Ch jumped in the outside lane. Got the car coming up there. to go. I came to this place and it was from the other direction. Came up from where we would you be? In 400 meters. Turn uh, left. West of the five, and probably one of those, uh, either the winery or somewhere Turn down left. in there, north of San Francisco. been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. Wow. Yeah, you can see the slight movement in the hood there. It's not as pronounced as the SCS W900, but it's there. I just gotta believe that this truck has been recently reconditioned. Oh, wait a minute. Where are we going with this? So it's not in that spot right there. Oh, I bet you I know where they got us going. Yeah, we'll, we'll drive around this way. Um, hopefully my memory's correct that this is a good way to go. Yeah, I think they have us parking parallel to the building. You've got to pull ahead of a, I can't remember whether it was a loading dock or a garbage skip or something. And then back up to it, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh, it's just a dude sitting on a crate. <laughs> Holding that box slid down. It ain't gonna get open while he's around. Look at this, uh, shadow that's, uh, kind of conveniently in the way. That was a nice drive. 
pretty stress-free. Yeah, I did the one goofy thing, which was, well, that's not bad. <laughs> Could have been worse. Yeah, we should take a quick review of the skins I'm working on to uh, get updated here. Boy, this thing's looking, looking good. Alberta Heavy Hall. Big or small? Oh, no. One and done with Alberta Heavy Hall. That's what I put on there. Big or small? No, no, no. I think that's the Flatbed Brothers slogan, slogan that I set up here. Let's have a quick look if you guys got time. Um... Oh, I guess we could go, just pretend we're buying a truck. And we'll just see what skins we got going. Peterbilt, I'll go like that. Now, here's something important for you to watch. So now in the cab, this is a short hood. See the little filler panel right here behind the fender? And there's no choice to change that in here. You just change the sleepers. So what we got to do is go here to chassis, and now is the EXHD there. So watch this. There's the extended hood. So what we can do then, when you go to a paint job, you're going to have multiple choices. So well, here's this Alberta Heavy Haul I'm working on right now. So you choose the EXHD. See, there's a short hood version. And they're both in the same place, which is kind of goofy. Maybe they're going to change this down the road, and I'm going to have to do this all one more time. So cash money, EXHD. We put the short one on. So you got to go to the chassis and go take get rid of the EXHD, and you see that looks right. And what other ones do we have? Um, Hell Creek Ranch, working on that. And this one really gets messed up if you use the wrong one. Watch the rope around the logo. Oops. <laughs> In this. So that's no good. Uh, legendary lubricants. Uh, short, long. Only difference is the uh, unit number. Montana Express. This is the one I got to fix. See this gap here? Got to fix that. It would show better if we had the red on there. You can see that needs fixing. Um, we got old school. I think this one's good to go. Uh, what else are we fixing? I, the Lost Arroyo is not fixed yet. Also, I've got one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, and is there another one down here? No, only five. That doesn't sound right. Six, accounting this one. Oh boy, I'm gonna be busy for days because there's more skins than that. But anyway, we'll get some uh, of the updates out to you guys. So, um, as always, I appreciate you following along and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, if you've got, your skins aren't working right, uh, look for the uh, new ones. I'm, I'm going to, when I put a new skin up, I'm going to delete the old one. So when your skin disappears, just go get the new one. Uh, so I think it's easier to keep track of what's updated and what isn't. Because I can put updated in the title of the skin. And uh, that way you know for sure what you got. And... Uh, Anyway, as always, appreciate you following along. Take care and bye for now.